fine. Okay, back to the knee model. Um, again, we have the ACL to prevent the tibia from sliding forward against the femur, and the posterior cruciate ligament back here, which does just the opposite. Um, in addition to the ACL, the one you often see here with ski injuries is the, um, this is a right knee, of course. This is the medial collateral ligament, and that, of course, is stressed with the valgus stress. We're assuming this goes going out down below, but the uh, way clinically we actually often see it is when somebody's knee sort of you know, buckles inward, that's getting, this is getting stressed as this is, uh, as their femur is shifting with a planted foot. And that often you'll see just like that. Um, then of course on the outside here is the lateral collateral ligament, which is the varus stress if you go inward here. Um, or someone's knee sort of buckling outward, likely. And then, of course, these are the menis this is the meniscus, the uh, medial and lateral, and you can imagine the grinding with the McMurray or the aptly grind test, especially if you're putting uh, some axial force there, that that's probably going to hurt these. And uh, with rotation is uh, what... Uh, catches things and the cat if you have a little piece chipped off here the snapping and popping is uh, what you're noting there so that's uh, just how the model corresponds to the exam um, for the uh, knee exam all right so let's start with the Lachman's here testing the ACL grabbing the uh, tibia and the femur and the patient's nice and relaxed and that ACL is nice and intact same thing over here. Always compare both sides. Good. Now let's do the valgus testing to check for medial collateral ligament. And varus testing. Check the lateral collateral ligament. Valgus. Varus. That also seems good. Now let's check the drawers. 90 degrees. Stabilize by sitting on the foot and anterior, or anteriorly, posterior, push posteriorly. And the same thing for the other foot. And then the McMurray's grind test, or not McMurray, sorry, McMurray's test. Going to test for the medial meniscus, we're going to put a lateral force and uh, flex to extend as well as externally uh, rotate. So, checking for snaps, pops, and pain. And lateral meniscus, putting a medial force, internally rotating. And same thing over here. I heard a snap. This patient also has a history of meniscal injury on in this knee, which might account for that. A little snap there. And so there may be just some remnants of the meniscal injury here. And lastly, we'll do the Apley uh, grind test. Have the patient roll over, please roll over. Um, and I'll hold off on examining this right. So is this a new knee? injury? Or? No, this is a old, chronic. this is chronic. Okay, and um, sometimes you uh, can sit on the back here, but the important thing is axial compression and rotation. And this meniscus seems good. So those are the uh, important points of the knee exam.